far and wide across the expanse of the earth. My name is Miss Click, and today I'm here with a, another impromptu fun video that y'all have been asking me for a little bit. Please do not mind the ridiculous amounts of cat hair on my sweater. I am currently housing one sleepy boy. I decided to bring to you today, guys, a video talking about my favorite top accessories for my Nintendo Switch. Pretty much my Nintendo stuff in general that I really like to use almost on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope this proves of some use to you. I'll have all the links down in the description below so that way you guys can perhaps get your own. First off the bat, I'm going to go through and just cover all the cases that I use, mainly for my Switch, uh, and also go through stuff for my new 3DS as well. I love my 3DS. Why haven't I, I mean, I know why I haven't had one sooner because I'm broke, but yo, y'all are the best for hooking me up with my 3DS. I freaking love it. The first case that I actually use is of course my Zelda Breath of the Wild case. Y'all know this is the OG case. I've been using this bad boy all the time, mainly because of the fact that it can hold everything. It can hold your Switch, it can hold your games right here in the case, and it also has room for your headphones and or extra styluses or your charging cable, um, your charging battery case. The only thing about this sometimes, it can be a little bit on the clunkier side, so if you're looking for one that is just around your case, this one is too clunky for that. Next case we have is actually the Best Store X, Best Store X Nintendo Switch case with a charging dock on the inside already. They actually sent this out to me and I have been using it for a while. This case is actually amazing if you are traveling and you are not wanting to carry another pocket battery charger. I actually love this guy because it has your two different charging ports here on the outside that you can use. And then it has one on the inside. If you look in the depth compared to the Breath of the Wild case, it is a little bit thinner. It's well reinforced, so it holds its shape well. It holds all of my accessories and my just whatever I have in here pretty freaking well. You have the ability to prop up your Switch while you're in here using it, which I love. The only thing to me that has been a drawback with this, and I have to be honest in my review about, is the inside charging port that you do use for your Switch. It comes with these tiny little magnetic pieces that you put into your Switch, and then it magne magnetizes itself. Is that the word? Magnetize? It, it is uh, magnetly attracted to this port in here, and it's supposed to prop itself up while it's in here so you can charge and play at the same time. I, however, um, broke one of the two prongs. So you get one and then a backup. The first one worked great and then uh, me being me, I accidentally bent it out of shape so that one does not work. So then I went to use the backup one and the backup one works sometimes but not all the time. But if there's one thing I would suggest with this specific product is if you're going to use it, make sure you're super careful. It shows you how much battery you have left. Look at me, I'm using it, so it's already halfway through. It's easy to charge. You just use a phone charger uh, when it runs out of battery, but it's nice to know that you do not have to carry an extra charging battery around with you. I use this actually on the plane ride when I'm going to conventions, TwitchCon. We actually played Mario Party while using this. If you don't want to charge it uh, propped up on the inside just like this, you can also just run a cable from here to the bottom of your Switch. I love the red and the black design for it. So um, I loved it actually so much that my 3DS case I was telling you about, I went ahead and ordered a black and red version for as well. Who summoned me? You cannot tell me that this does not look dope. This is the take case that I ordered off of Amazon. It's like $15. I would highly suggest to you, if you're looking for a Nintendo 3DS case that holds everything in there, including tons of games, which I have put none of my games in here yet, but I will. It's also able to host a whole bunch in this little caddy. And then also it comes with its own stylus. So how about that? Just in case you feel like you're gonna lose the other one. It comes up with the backup. Okay, and while we're at it, can we just really quick look at this? Look at this beauty! You cannot tell me! It is not beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna kiss it. Shout out to Danny. I love you, Danny. Thank you for making this happen. I cannot believe this is the first time I've had one uh, ever in my life. So yes, this was the Best Store X, Best Store X, uh, Nintendo Switch charging dock case. It's a long title. Uh, and then this was the take case uh, for the Nintendo 3DS. Moving on. The next and the final case I have is perhaps probably the most versatile that you can use because it also carries everything else that comes with your Switch, and that is the actual Nintendo licensed uh, Zelda Messenger Bag. I randomly found it at Walmart and it was an impulse buy, but it is actually one of the most efficient impulse buys I've ever had. This 
holds everything that I probably could have ever wanted to hold for my Switch. The good thing about the Switch is the Joy-Cons themselves the good thing about the Nintendo Switch is that if you're playing multiplayer games, most of the time you only need Joy-Cons. So the convenient part about having a case such as this is it does not take up a lot of room because you don't need such ridiculous things as four Pro Controllers. It comes with the ability to carry your Switch, your dock, the cables that come with everything, which thankfully aren't that bulky as they have been in previous Nintendo consoles. And then also has room for all of your controllers. It can fit a Pro Controller and some Joy-Cons, but I don't really have a Pro Controller yet. I have a wired one. I swear to you, I am getting a Pro Controller one of these days. It's gonna happen. Also, for here, for your Switch, it comes with its very own case, which is actually just a very bare minimum case. It holds nothing but nothing else but your Switch. I actually use this bad boy if I'm gonna run out to the supermarket real quick and I'm gonna meet someone. I play a lot of Pokemon Go, so oftentimes uh, I have friends who do not have Let's Go to transfer Pokemon for the melt box, so oftentimes I will just take this bad boy out. Um, with my let's go, I'll meet up with them, meet them at the park or something, transfer some Pokemon, and you're good. Yeah, I know, I'm a good friend. You can say it. You're a good friend, Miss Click. Thank you. It's got a zipper on the back, so if you need to put some other documents in there. If you're gonna take literally just this, it's cool. You can put your keys in there, you can put your phone, your makeup, if you're like me. You can get it on Amazon as well. I believe at Walmart it was cheaper, so I would just price it and see what, uh, what interests you most. But sometimes it's nice just to go to Walmart, pick it up, and then have it that same day. Speaking of Pokemon Go, I actually love and I use almost every single day and that is my Pokeball Plus. Some of y'all are rolling your eyes right now and I don't know why. I'm just not impressed by it, but I, I love this bad boy. This thingy is such a cutie and it's just, it's so nice. It's also like a fidget ball. Instead of fidget cube, it's a fidget ball. Fidget balls. Fidget balls, copyright that. What's cool about it is every time you use this controller to put your Let's Go Pokemon into here, and then you go out and you play Pokemon Go out in the real world where all the people are and it's scary and loud and commodes. It's a great way to get your 99,999 XP uh, for your Pokemon while you're playing Go. Bring it back to Let's Go. It's an easier way to level up than just grinding all the time. I love the fact that it auto spins Pokestops um, and the fact that you can actually set it to, it'll notify you when a Pokemon is near and then I'll try to catch it for you. Mainly the auto spins of the stops are my favorite and it has made raiding so much easier because y'all know the Mountain and I love to go raiding and it's actually ridiculous. It's actually my first Pokeball merchandise like in general. So I love the fact that it's not just a empty Pokeball, it's actually got a really great use. And when you have a Pokemon in there, you can uh, turn off the mute. And it'll track all of your data with it in actual Let's Go. And I love that about this. It's so cute. When I'm traveling and I'm walking around or going to conventions and or I'm on airplanes or even just driving in the car for extended periods of time, I am personally a backpack kind of person. I have fallen in love with my backpack that y'all probably remember from my Wish video over a year ago. And that is my uh, my Sheikah backpack that I've received. Um, I'm obsessed with pins. Can you tell? This again is from Wish. So I paid like... 10 15 dollars for this and it is honestly the best thing ever put all my pins on it look at all of the babies i love this for going anywhere and everywhere i honestly suggest you find a backpack that is super just trusty dusty i'm gonna take this everywhere with me and that's my go-to bag and it also glows in the dark also, if you have played a part in putting one of these pins or keychains onto my backpack shout out to you because you're freaking amazing and i love you thanks for feeding into my addiction and last but not least that we have on my list of some of my favorite accessories that I use for my Nintendo life. And that is da, 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 my recently received Starlink Battle for Atlas custom Joy-Cons. That's some of y'all gonna be like, Miss Click, that's this present. You can't really say that because I can't really buy it. This is true. Who's subscribing to me again? Thanks y'all for the subs. I really appreciate it. You're beautiful. If you do not know, I received these as a Christmas present from the Starling team uh, over in Ubisoft Montreal, and I freaking love them. I have always debated and always questioned as to when or if I was going to get custom Joy-Cons because I love the look and the appeal of having custom Joy-Cons compared to just the normal colors. While the color options are really cool, 
Um, there's just some, there's just something about it when it comes to having a special image or logo to where people are like, what is that from? So shout out to the Ubisoft team. Thank you for entrusting me with a beautiful pair of Joy-Cons and I literally use these every day. Thanks Ubisoft, I love you. I actually lied. I have one more item. So forgive me for I have sinned. This is actually last but not least. And one of my favorite accessories that has actually been pretty recent to my addition as well, which was a gift from Nintendo. Again, the Zelda Astro Gaming A10 headsets. I'm doing a giveaway for these. So if you're interested in your own pair, uh, you should follow me and keep up to date because we're gonna be giving these bad boys away. I put him in the case because Tack likes to chew on cables, so I was very scared he's gonna chew on it before I could end this video. These headphones are super comfortable. The sound balance is actually immaculate. Normally when you get headphones that are underneath a certain price point, they either have too much bass or too much treble. If you're looking for a really nice all-around headset, these are actually amazing. And to be honest, again, the gold and black trim, the Zelda, it's, it's be they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I have a headset that is easily almost $100 more than these, and they have pretty much the exact same mic quality, so I cannot complain whatsoever about how these sound. Cloth ears, they're not leather, so they're very, very well breathable. Ear shape is a little bit interesting. It's rounded on the top and flat on the bottom, so if you have bigger ears like I do, um, if you're playing extensively for, you know, five, six hours sometimes, they can wear a little bit on the ears, but they're not too uncomfortable to where you can't just move them and readjust them. They are compatible with your Switch as well as your computer and you can also, because the cable is split into two adapters, you can use it while on your phone and on your Switch. But no one really uses the voice chat on the phone so I guess it doesn't really matter but if you wanted to, you could. It's there. It's essentially just your audio and, and mic input but you know. It's fine. They're great. These run for about 60 US dollars, which is actually a really good price for headsets because headsets, as you know, can range into the hundreds of dollars. Um, and for these guys, these are probably the best $60 headphones I've seen in a long while. Anyway, that is my accessory list for some of my most used accessories for my Nintendo Switch and or Nintendo products in general. Let me know what you use. Hit me up in the comments below. Get the conversation started. Thank you so much again for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Leave a your thoughts in the comments. Why am I doing this? I also got this collar for Tack from TwitchCon. It's Legend of Zelda. You can't really see it, but it's there. Oh, look, there it is. <gasps> he's so mad at me because he jingles whenever he walks, but now I know when he's in the house and when he's not. Jingle boy, jingle boy, jingle all the time. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and stay savage. Ta-ta for now.